Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a story time, and this is the story about when I got blocked by my ex boyfriend for no reason. So, about two years ago, I was online on a dating site and minding my business and this guy we're gonna call him Jake he messaged me and I didn't think nothing of it I was just sitting there minding my business I really was on the site because I was bored um I wind up answering him we talked and he was he he was a nice person he was a nice guy um at the time I was in a situation but the situation didn't last because that person felt as though they didn't want to be with me anymore because they felt that they needed to be in a relationship that they was in previously with someone else um so me and Jake we began to start talking we were friends for a while um then one day you know he decided that he wanted to take it a step further and I was okay with that it it was nothing you know I liked him he liked me you know, the feelings are mutual. Um, we dated. We started to date around what? Mm, the end of May. And everything was good. Everything was good. We were good. We dated for about six months. We dated, and, you know, I was skeptical about, you know, allowing him into my world. Um, you know, I do have a son, and being with someone, you know, when you have a child, he didn't have any children. I had a child, and, you know... I had been in a previous relationship before him where I allowed people to be in my life and to be a part of my life and to be a part of my world and everything that I was going through and it went sour so when I got with him I you know I didn't completely shut down I just was cautious this time and I'm glad that I was so Around, I want to say, uh, what, October, you know, things were good. I did notice some changes in the relationship, but I didn't know that they were going to get to the point that they got to. Um... You know, I was with him as much as I could be with him. I spent a lot of time with him as much as I could. You know, we talked every day. We were together every, well, not every day, but, you know, every other week. Anytime that we could be together, we were together, you know. And I thought that we were, we were good. So... Come December, we're talking, I, I, we're talking, but then he goes ghost, and I'm like, okay, he goes ghost for a week, 
and then returns and then we talk again and it's just like something's wrong but at the time it didn't click really it was just like okay he'll come back around maybe you know he's working because he did work a lot and it was just like okay he's at work he's probably you know tired we talked on december 9th and that was the last time that we had a conversation i i went upstate christmas eve no not even christmas eve uh, a few days before christmas eve spending time with my family or whatever you know and at the time i didn't know what i know now um he didn't hit me up that day we didn't talk i didn't think nothing of it come christmas eve i go to try to message him because you know it's christmas eve and i'm blocked and i'm just like like what what i didn't understand why i thought i did something the whole entire time i'm like oh my god like did i do something did i say something like what happened like why so i go to message him through another facebook page that i have and he blocks me again so at this point i'm just like i did something i don't know what i did i had no idea that this was gonna happen this this i knew that something was telling me you know something's wrong but it really didn't click you know and to this day <laughs> I, you know it's just like wow so a few months go by and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and waiting, and waiting. And it's just like, I had to come to reality. Like, he's he's gone. Like, it's, it's done. But I still have no idea why and what I did or if I did anything. So, I ended up in another relationship by February. This relationship that I ended up in, I come to realize that that relationship wasn't because, you know, I wanted to be with that person. I was, I was, I was miserable. I was sad. I was depressed, and I needed somebody. I need someone, and I was hurting. Bad. And that relationship didn't get. Didn't, it didn't make me feel any better. Because he did things to me that hurt. And I was just like, you know, I stayed because I had no choice. I felt like I had no choice because the person that I really wanted to be with no longer wanted to be with me. So I kept that relationship going. I would, I would go back to social media just to check to see if I was unblocked like I really cared about this person that much that I cared whether or not I was blocked and one day I'm able to see his page so I was unblocked did I hit him up no 
I didn't hit him up because I was scared to get my feelings hurt. So I stayed in the relationship that I was in, that I was miserable in, that I didn't want to be in. And I stayed in that relationship until last year. And when I finally ended that relationship, something in me said, stop being a coward. You know that you love this person. If you want to be with this person, make that work. And I eventually started to hit him up. I wasn't expecting him to hit me back. I, I really wasn't. I was actually expecting for this person to ignore me, tell me that he didn't want to talk to me, you know, because at the time, like I said, when I was blocked, I didn't know that I whether or not I did something. I didn't know if he was angry at me for something that I said that I did. And I was just, I, I, I just sat there and I waited. Eventually, he answered back. And, you know, we ended up having a conversation. And I asked him, I said, you know, did I do something? He said, no. So I said, so what? what was the reason for what you did like you don't understand like what i went through i went through a lot <laughs> i went through a lot i went through a very deep depression i was sad i've had I, I i've had people come in and out of my life since that time and just be inconsistent and it didn't even matter to me because the only person that i really wanted was you and you wasn't there so i just want to know what what was the problem he told me you know what the problem was and I understood I understood exactly what the problem was because I had the same issues that he was having but it, at the same time it was just like you could have talked to me you could have told me that you know you needed your space and that you were going through what you was going through and I would have gladly gave you your space I would have gladly allowed you to you know do you you know all you had to do was tell me you didn't need to leave me in the dark like that so we started talking again and I said to him would you be up for would you consider us being back together and he said, yeah. We got back together. And things were good at first. Then he started the disappearing acts months later. We got back together last year. The disappearing acts started again. And I knew what it was this time now i know what it is what the problem is and why you keep you know disappearing on me and i understand you know when you going through the things that he went through and what i went through you don't want to talk to no one you don't want to be bothered you don't want to you you don't want nothing to do with anybody you just want to be alone and i understood that but then <laughs> Over the summer, he say, you know, I want to come see you. And I say, okay, I'll make arrangements, you know, for my son to be babysat. And, you know, we can spend time together because I'm willing to do anything to be in this relationship at this point. Because I don't want this to happen again. This was July that he told me this. And I'm like, okay, fine. Two weeks later, he was supposed to be here. Never showed. Did I call him or text him and ask him why? No. I didn't want to be the person that nagged him. I didn't want to be that nagging girlfriend. Oh, why didn't you come? Why didn't you come? It was just like, okay. Didn't hear from him 
for three months straight until last week. And he explained to me why he did what he did. And I accepted it and I took it. And it was the same reason that he did the same thing to me last year, two years ago. And I accepted it and I took it. <laughs> Just for him to do the same thing to me again recently. Now this time, I'm not accepting the, the the excuse that he gave me before. Only because we had this conversation and I told him, if you ever have this problem again, we can talk about this. We had this conversation. We talked about what the problem was. You told me. So, I'm confused now as to why I'm blocked again. I did nothing to deserve this. And it hurt. It still hurts. But I have to get over it. Because I know who I am. And I know what I deserve. And I know that I deserve so much more than what anybody has ever done to me and as much as I love him as much as I loved him I love me more there's not that much love in the world for me to allow somebody to do the same thing to me more than once or twice and I will never ever let it happen again I will never let it happen again I can't allow somebody to pick and choose when they want to be with me. I can't allow somebody to pick and choose when they want to be a boyfriend. I can't. I, I have too much going on. That's the end of my story. But before I go, I just want to say something to... All my subscribers, men and women. You are a person. And you have feelings. And if a person can't consider your feelings. Then they don't deserve you. No one has a right to walk in and out of your life whenever they feel. No one has a right to treat you like you're an option. If that person pursued you in the first place. They don't have a right to do anything to hurt you. They don't have that right to come and just tell you that they love you and not show it. They don't have that right. <laughs> and you should never give anybody that right. Ever. You know who you are and you know what you deserve and... Don't ever let nobody give you an excuse as to why they do the things that they do to you. It's, it's not okay. And <laughs> I also want to say that if you're watching this, because I know you're probably going to see this. I'm sorry that you're going through the things that you're going through. And I'm sorry that you don't feel like you can open up to me but what I will say also you gotta grow up you do there's people out there that that are willing to love you and there was a person that was willing to love you and care for you and and do anything I would have done anything to help you with your situation I might not have been physically, I might not have been able to physically do something for you, but I know what I signed up for. And as a significant other, you, you know that you are, you, you're there because you want to be there and you want to be that person for your significant other. And I wanted to be there for you and you didn't allow me. And that's not fair. It's not fair that you allowed the things that you were going through through your personal life to affect us it's not fair that you 
you shut me out. I didn't deserve that. And I really hope that you get the help that you need. But there's no coming back. Now the tables have turned. Now